All right, what is going on guys? My name is Joseph. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, shout out to all the new subscribers. I know I've been getting a lot of new subscribers, which is kind of crazy, but shout out to all the new ones. If you are new, uh, my channel is about New York City, exploring New York, I explain the out outer areas, the outer boroughs of New York, uh, vlogging, anything to do with cameras, the new tech. Uh, I'm your boy for it. Um, yeah, but today we are going to be looking at some cheap tech. Uh, one of my favorite cameras of all time that does not get talked about enough and I think it really should uh, We have a Nikon here. We're gonna be talking about this camera and you guys already know what it is by the title I'm very excited. This camera is amazing um, Yeah, let me stop rambling and let's get into today's video. I'm excited. Roll my intro Like I said, we're going to be talking about this Nikon camera. This is the Nikon J1. This came out in October of 2011 as a CMOS sensor. It's a mirrorless camera, it has interchangeable lenses. Uh, it records at 1080 Full HD, so 1080p uh, 30, and then 1080p 60i, uh, which is it. I usually record in 30, but you have the option to do 60. Um, it came in this like burgundy uh, leather case. So we'll take it off its thing, unscrew it real quick. Um, yeah, so here is the camera, the Nikon J1. Such a small, tiny, compact camera. We'll get into that in a minute. But when this came out, this was an accessory for it. This originally sold for $100. So I picked up this whole lot two years ago for like $120. This alone was like $100. Uh, which is kind of crazy. So I bought it. Here it is. It came with the 10 to 30 kit lens. It's in this nice pearlescent. Is that what you would call it? Pearlescent white. I don't know. I really do like it a lot. Um, it shoots great video. I bought it for for like vlogging, and it's good for vlogging because the the actual face detect, or what do you call it? Um, yeah, the face detect is really good when you're vlogging. It really detects your face. And I could be moving around and all that and it'll still keep me in focus, which really surprised me for this tiny camera. And it also came with some, it came with the, the little leather case. And it also came with a Pantex. So as you guys can see, the Pantex lens adapter. Uh, this is an adapter to get any of the vintage Pantex lenses. Um, it has a whole variety, that, that just opens up a whole new world of lenses that I want to try to get into. Um, this is a KNF concept one for the Nikon one. Here it is. Um, this was like 120 to like two years ago. Uh, really do like it. Um, have not used it as much as I would love to. Uh, I will be using this as my Instagram photo camera because it takes really high crisp pictures. And I'll get a little more into photography and whatnot. So we have that one. And I wanted to put this to the test. We're in the year 2021. <laughs> and like, uh, could you still get this camera for the low price? Could you? Uh, we'll put that to the test. I bought this one and here it is. This is the Nikon J1 in a different colorway. Uh, this whole bundle was, hold on, let me pull up the stats. I don't want to get anything wrong. Bought it on eBay as well. I wanted to put it to the test that could you still get a good bundle for the price? So we'll go on eBay, we'll go on purchases, anything that I bought. This bundle I bought was a hundred and twenty six dollars with twenty six cents that is crazy um it came with this nice nikon case this this case is pretty big and i could i could see myself carrying this case sometimes not every not all the time but i could see myself carrying this case just walking around with it um but yeah i'm gonna show you guys everything that it came with as like we'll, we'll look at every individual pouch so the first pouch would pop up like that, and there are batteries in here. Two batteries, these are Batmax, uh, lithium uh, 1200 milliamps, uh, two of them, which is really good. Anything else in there? No, we'll put that, I guess, out of uh, clips like that. And then we got this side one. Uh, what is in here? <laughs> the, you know, the strap, uh, to put it the next strap whatever you call it we have that what else is in there anything else that's it so it has this compartment which has we had which had the strap 
the batteries was in the front one and then we'll take out the main compartment so here is the main compartment and I like the compartment because it has like two individuals so the camera and then the extra lens so here is the camera itself the Nikon J1 in this like matte black finish let me see if you guys can get, get a focus on that there you go um, right now I installed this on it this is a Vivitar uh, wide angle converted uh, lens adapter uh it's its own individual like screw on lens it works as intended but uh, not the best but it's vivitar what do you expect nikon j1 this is gonna be my my backup vlogging camera so yeah there it says there us see if it'll focus yeah vivitar right there nikon j1 i love the matte black finish on it so it came with the kit lens at 10 30 um, I added the Vivitar trap, the Vivitar lens adapter. I added that, so we'll put that to the side. What else did it come with? Oh, it came with this, which really surprised me. The 30 to 110. Uh, this this whole bundle for 226 26. Um, uh, I said 126 26. Uh, this alone right here, this I might actually end up selling thinking about it but I might actually end up using it I'm not 100% sure but if I sell this lens alone this this Nikon lens goes for a hundred dollars alone so if I sell this everything else will end up being free so I'm really debating on it um, I do I might test this out for a minute see if it's worth keeping if not I'll just sell it make you know a hundred dollars and this would technically be like twenty six dollars with twenty six cents which is crazy but yeah the Nikon what 30 to 110 so photo lens and what else is in here um, oh well, that's right here it has the cover things so we got the two covers for the Nikon one mount to so focus on that Nikon one mount we have those two to convert to cover the sensor and then all the way in the back do we have anything oh uh, what is this Jesus, the limited time 90 day warranty. Jeez. <laughs> I could mail this. That's crazy. But is that it? Yeah, that's all the compartments. Really nice, rugged case. Um, and yeah, here is what this looks like Nikon J1. Really, really happy with it. I will do some test of video for this uh, uh, at the end. Um, so you guys stay tuned for that. Uh, but yeah, let me put pop in a battery to this one. Is that how it goes? No, nope, I put it in uh, the wrong way. It already has an SD card in it. We'll turn it on. Give it a minute. Okay, reset, whatever. There we go. Oh, it also does uh, slow-mo at 480p, but it's unusable. I'm sorry. It really just is unusable. Um, so we'll take out the wide angle lens. We'll go back here and I'll show you guys kind of how that looks So let me just correct the fire real quick right there That's kind of how that looks and it's kind of like a wide angle view So yeah, I'm really liking it a lot like come on guys like like that. Oh That's crazy But yeah, this is a really nice camera um, now. Let's let's go into some test footage of it so you guys can see right now I'm gonna go to settings real quick so let's go to menu settings and go all the way up to um, movie type there we go go back go back to video and movie settings so we're gonna go down to 1080 it uh, defaults to 60i but we're gonna do 30p because 60i is just not the best um, but yeah let's get some test footage Oh, right guys, so this is some test footage and audio using the Nikon J1. Hopefully you guys like the way that it looks. I honestly do like the way that it looks. It has a nice, crisp image, and the audio, the, the audio is not bad. I've had worse cameras, like the, I've tested the Nikon B500, I've tested uh, the 
3100 and it doesn't have the best audio but this for a compact mirrorless camera is really well as you guys can see over here all the stuff that I have we have the setup right there with the main Lumix the FZ1000 right there and the new microphone on it uh, I'm using a new microphone with it oh looking crisp plus plus you know this is a New York City channel so I threw on these 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 I was gonna say these custom vans but these are just NYC exclusives you already know what they do look at that the New York both of them have it and it has all the trains on like the inside and the outside crisp Alright, uh, yeah, but yeah, that's all that I have to say, guys. Let me know, would you buy this camera as a beginner YouTube camera? If you would, uh, let me know um, what other camera you would recommend. And yeah, I'll be making more videos. Let's roll back to my regular one before we end the video.